kill those FBI's. But it's the people of this country called Washitu Oyate, the white man. Any FBI's are sitting here, I don't mind if I hurt your feelings or stepping on your toe, I don't mind. <laughs> First thing that I spoke to Obama and I he want to meet me in Sioux Falls. I didn't ask for, for a lot of commodities. But I did ask for, here is a package manif manifesto for later Peltier. As you as a black man at one time, as you as a slave was brought here, now you are the father of this country. Now you're going to be the rule of this country. Now it's going to be the one. I've been harboring the United States for over so many hundred years under 1868 treaty, and 1851 treaty, and 1889. Leonard Peltier, I want him to be free. Before I die, before I die, before my grandsons, I want Leonard to be free. My father and mother know Leonard. We all eat together. We was at Kokala Oyate, we was the warriors. We will stand for the rights for your children could survive. The trail of broken treaties, Washington, D.C. We did everything we could to stand up. Now, Leonard's been in there 33 years. How many of you that's been sending him letters? Thank you. And how many of you are not? Thank you, too. But I believe that this year, Leonard Peltier is going to be the freedom for him. Why? I ask him. I ask Obama, I want you to honor what I'm telling you. Here it is. Twelve grand juries. There's no non-Indian on that panel. I said the grand juries. Twelve grand juries indict Leonard Peltier, extradite him from Canada to here, called the United States. I'm telling you something. I am an ex-convict. I went to old Mexico. I went to Cuba with Fidel Castro, and I was a human being. I was treated like a human being. When I returned back to the United States, I was a criminal, and I got indicted. I understand what Leonard going through. We're all in the same jail, same place. Dino Butler's case and my case. When our case was dismissed, Leonard Peltier case could have dismissed there too, but something happened. The lawyers, taxpayers got Leonard Peltier convicted. Now today, 33 years is a long time. So relatives, with the prayer, this coming July 27th, June 26th, I'm going to meet with the president. And I'm going to remind him again why is he want to ask me about the, the laws of this seven major crime act of my great-grandfather, Jerome Crowdog. So I'm going to talk for Leonard once again. We vigil, we march, we do everything. But it's something. What is it? Little Bighorn, what the United States coming? 
what Custer got wiped, that's what, they don't like it. They don't look at all the massacre that's been done in the United States, called the United States. They don't look at it. The highest taxpayers, now that you're responsible, tell the internal revenue, let's give them full custody rights to the Native Americans of the Indian country. So I felt it, and I understand it. Yes, Leonard's going to have some ties from this system, but at least he could be free with his grandchildren. Oh, hey, oh, my relatives, long, long time I come here when during those trials. Now I'm 68 years old, couldn't hardly walk, couldn't hardly see. But before I go, I want Leonard to be free. Flute player, now is the time. For the work of the work, work of the work of the town, the life of Leonard. What are we going to do when Leonard free? What kind of a world assembly? Hey, yeah, 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 hey, yeah, 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 hey, yeah, 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 hey, yeah, yeah. Can you stand up? And you have to be told, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't ruin it. Just right. Hey, yeah, yeah, We speak to you, Leonard, at this time. You shall be free. I know there's not going to be no justice for the Lakota or the red man, but still you're going to be free. You will walk with your grandchildren. You will see us. Leonard, we love you. The kindness and care you for the unborn generation that you speak for. So the Oklahoma nation could survive. The Lakota nation, the great nation of the Ojibwe Anishinaabe people. You're going to sun dance with us. Leonard, it's me, nephew. Look what happened in 1890. They had been massacred, a lot of our women and children, but nobody has got convicted. The Northern Cheyenne got massacred. The Cherokee Nation got massacred. Every day, Leonard, our people been massacred. Every day our children been taken away. You fought for us, Leonard. When you return home, the Turtle Mountain Indian Reserve. You are a beautiful warrior. Crazy Horse was murdered, but they couldn't kill you, Leonard. So you're going to walk. of the red man of the Western Hemisphere. The sovereignty of the sovereignty of the nation that you spoke about. Nephew, nephew, soon you're gonna come home. You're gonna let your dad and mom be happy in the spirit world.
Leila Peltier, Leila Peltier, shall see the freedom, shall see the dream. Have Martin Luther King have said, give us our rights now. The United States government, give us our rights. There's injustice that happened to Leonard Peltier. Now it's the time, Leonard. There's echoes going to echo the sound will go to behind the bars. You're going to live with all your beautiful brothers behind bars, but they will see freedom too. Grandfather, bring nephew back. Bring him back. I'm speaking to you. Once more. Once more, well, when you bring him back. Once more, I'm going to be hanged on that Sundance tree for Leonard. My people, my people, Leonard said that. My people, I love you. I care for you. Leonard Peltier is a man, is a warrior. It's the way of life. Leonard Peltier should be free. We will walk Northwest Territory once again. Take care of him, relatives. Take care of him. When he walk in front of you, Creator, he's going to walk with him. on relatives. So I believe that Leonard Peltier will see the freedom and I believe that Leonard Peltier is going to walk with you. He will see his grandchildren. An American movement shall walk again. Movement is not dead. It's you and I not do community work. You and I did offer tobacco in the proper instructions. Today, Mayor Peltier, when you return home, you will walk with us. You will sun dance with us. Look what happened to those two FBI's that's murdered. Those kids, they changed their name. And those two white women got married. Those kids didn't even know who their father. They thought the man that they live with, that's their father. Don't, child shall not left behind. The United States government done wrong. For that reason, Leonard Peltier, I told Obama, let my nephew return home. I didn't ask you anything anymore, but I ask you, honor our treaty rights, that we are come to be a citizen of the United States, June 24, 1924. If we honor you, honor my words, Obama. You was a slave and I shall give you a right, the full right of this country called United States. Thank you, Routers. Thank you.